Okay class, imagine this. You are doing a mission in a war and then your plane crash and then the enemies catch you then they throw you in jail they torture you severely and then here's the hard part you have to send a message to your country that they are torturing you and that you need to be saved that seems wild oh boy the teacher's gone mad again <laughs> what if i told you kids that someone did all that with only his own two eyes. Oh, I'll tell you. Oh, in today's video, because today we're talking about the man that uses eyes to send a secret message on TV. Stay tuned for the story. July 18, 1969. It's the middle of the Vietnam War and a man named Jeremy Denton was leading a bombing mission on North Vietnam. Now, of course, they dropped a few bombs and, well, after flying for a while, an anti-aircraft gun shot them down and it reached to the point where their plane started spiraling downwards. That was bad news. So they pressed the eject button just like you should press the like button right now. <laughs> and, well, they landed in enemy territory. Minutes pass and they are found by the Vietnamese. They were outnumbered and they weren't armed, so they had to surrender to the Vietnamese, which took them to a camp called the zoo. The zoo was designed to make the prisoners suffer to the point of telling them secret plans of the US to the Vietnamese, which the Vietnamese can then use against the USA. And well, Denton was no different. Yes, he was tortured severely, like really, really, really harshly. And well, him being like the super soldier man, he did not tell the Vietnamese anything except for his name, his rank, and his serial number, as taught in military training. Now, Denton's resistance to all the torture and stuff made him a leader among the other US POWs. And here are the Vietnamese, they're mad. And they can't get any info out of Denton, who of course was a very high ranked person in the military. So, they made a plan. So, here is the plan. The Vietnamese would use the POWs or the prisoners of war as propaganda against their own country. And Denton, being the man of high ranks and popularity in the camp, he was going to be the star of the show. Hooray. May the 2nd, 1966. Denton was going to be interviewed in a video that was going to be sent to the US. He was told that he was going to be asked questions by a Japanese reporter um, asking him about how the Vietnamese were treating him. And of course, Denton had to say that they were treating him exquisitely well. And if he didn't do that, then torture time, baby. And of course, we have the clip of that. So let's just roll the clip. How do you get the camp? I get uh, adequate food and adequate clothing and medical care when I require it. How do you think about uh, the uh, so-called Vietnamese law? What do you think that's going about? Well, I don't know what uh, is happening. But uh, whatever the position of my government is, I support it fully. Mm -hmm. Whatever the position of my government is, I believe in it. Yes, sir. I am a member of that. Now, as we saw in the video, he stated that he was being treated well. But when he was asked about his like opinion towards what his country was doing, like to the case, he sided with his country. And oh boy, the Vietnamese didn't like the sound of that. Yep. Torture time, baby! But Denton didn't really fear the torture. Instead, he feared that the interview was going to be uh, ended soon. And that could be his last chance to actually send a message to the US to come and save him. And not just that, if Denton had said any wrong words, anything off topic, anything that is against the Vietnamese, then he may even face death. But of course, Denton had one trick up his sleeve. Oh, Morse code. What's Morse code? I will tell you now.
Morse code. So for those who don't know what Morse code is, Morse code is basically a code that consists of dots and dashes. Yep, only dots and dashes. Now in Denton's case, a short blink would be a dot and a long blink would be a dash. And that is how he sent a message with his eyes. And this code could be used to translate dots and dashes into letters, words, sentences, and so much more. So as we see in the video, Jeremiah did the following. He long dashed for T, three long dashes for O, dot, then dash, then dot for R, then dash for T, two dots, and then a dash for U, dot, dash, dot for R, and then finally a single dot for E, which spells torture. So Jeremiah did the unthinkable and he used his eyes to use Morse code. Now he hoped that someone at home or in, like, in the USA would actually pick up on the code and would well maybe think of saving him. And then something amazing happened. No one in the US decoded the message, the Vietnamese caught him and they went off with his head. The end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button. Just go down, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And well, if you want to check my Minecraft videos, then you can go to this channel right here because I do that every single day. The opposite happened. And well, the USA decoded the message and the Vietnamese didn't really catch on with the whole Morse code thing. So the US citizens demanded the release or at least the better treating of the POWs and not to torture them. But in Vietnam, things were a little darker. So Denton was tortured even more because of his deniance in the interview. And well, yeah, that was kind of sad. What also happened is that two months after the interview, the POWs were taken onto the streets for a nice little walk. But it wasn't a nice little walk. They got bottles and stones thrown at them and well, yeah, they barely escaped with their lives, sadly. But of course, to everything dark comes a bright side. And that is what happened with Jeremiah. You see, because of global pressure, Jeremiah didn't have to face torture every single day. And well, they got treated a little better, you know? But the real question is, what was the US gonna do? Well, they had this amazing plan to wait eight years. Yep, that actually happened, not kidding. So yeah, he had to wait eight years, that sucked. In my opinion, he should have just blinked oil. Then maybe they would have come the next day. <laughs> but after the eight years, they were finally released, no more Vietnamese, and yeah, they lived happily ever after. So back at home, he got higher ranks in the military, he was made an admiral, Whatever that means and well yeah he just became known as a hero and on March 28th 2014 he died of heart failure rest in peace the moral of the story in case you get in a sketchy situation where your life is on the line and you just don't know what to do always remember that one Morse code video that you watched on YouTube never forget that video if you forget that video yeah, we, we have to have a talk. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the story, if you like the video, then make sure you scroll down, go down, smash the like button. I'm waiting. And go subscribe as well if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. If you like this video, then I'm pretty sure you're going to like this video as well. Yep, I talk about the top five most deadly substances known to man. And well, if you want to know what they are and a few stories behind them, then make sure you go over there. And well, yeah, I'll see you there. Goodbye.